Hi. Today I want to explore one of the three new roads that has been implemented in Spain in uh, version 1.43. So we start here. Stay right and then exit right. So you can see it says Madrid and Soria. And we are going to go through Soria to have a look what it is. Maybe release the handbrake. It's a good idea. And as you have noticed, it's also been SES has done some changes to the zones in 1.43. So that kind of different zones from the truck. Stay left. Even though I still use the Kirschbaum mod for the Scania, Scania V8. This is a Scania V8, Scania 770. Well, then uh, supposed I'm not going to yield now. That was what I thought. So let's use the cruise until we are ready to turn off this highway. <coughs> Still some kilometers go now, we take it in here. Stay behind this one. Nice clear weather. Stay right and then exit right. Morning. It's almost 11 o'clock, so it's right. nice time of the day to do the driving. if uh, Soria is a village or a city, but we'll see when we get there. Now we are closing up to the starting point of the road. It starts here. As you can see on the GPS, this section turned yellow. And here at the roundabout, I suppose we are going straight forward, yes. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Soria N 234 that's the new road number but only 40 seems strange then it was 80 it's better <laughs> I used to cruise it's very convenient, so we avoid speeding. And now you can see we are in the 11th gear. The automatic transmission doesn't shift up to 12, so I have to do it manually. We get a better zone from the engine, I think. Seems to be a very dry part of Spain we are. Mostly grey, ah, oh, here are some green areas. As you maybe notice, I have a wide angle in the, in the front view. Let's have a brief look at it. So I adjusted here the seats. As you can see, at, I have a 97 degree angle here. So I can see the left mirror and also the front mirror. I compared this 
in detail with the, the view in Krista Bogentsky's SS520 truck. It's more or less the same. Also the seat adjustment and the steering wheel adjustments, as you can see. Let's continue. This advantage, of course, is that when you since I see both the, the, the both of the left mirrors and also the front mirror, it steals um, some roughly 30 fps. So you can see when we take away the mirrors, we are now just above 100, and now we are down to 76. <coughs> Maybe it's a small village here, maybe it's 50, yes it is. So we have to slow down, stay calm. Nice church, by the way. Then we are back to 80. It's a very powerful sound on the V8. Straightforward to me, but okay. So this is the rural countryside of Spain. I was expecting some wine areas here, but doesn't seem to be like that. And now I want to explore this uh, this possibility to make deliveries later on to see how it is. In here just turn left. Here we go. When possible, make a U-turn. Well, since we want to explore it, we have to go inside the gate. Now it's done. We have to make a U-turn. Again, wait for the gate to open. Seems to be a kind of a roundabout here. Why not? This says stop. Uh, I don't like the angle because it's so difficult to have a look to the right. Wow, a lot of traffic here. Sometimes you have to wait for a long while. I like Well, maybe I'm a bit impatient. But here we go. Sorry. We are almost inside the city or village, so let's have a look. Seems to be in the middle of an open plain. Oh. Stay right. It's not a city, for sure. Speed limit is 80. Stay left. Seems that we have to go around the roundabout. Third exit. <coughs> you 
have to wait, my friend. Stay right. Sometimes they don't, and that creates some crashes. Stay left. That was Soria, not a big city, rather a small village. Still, it's on the Explorer Road, and now we are short portion of a highway. Speed limit, as you can see on the GPS, I am using truck speed limit to show up on the GPS. So I don't have to remember the speed, track speed limits for every country in Europe. a good choice. both sides. Let me take this one. And brake. Stop the engine. Waiting for the wheel and then go out and fill it up. As you hear, it's a small sound that from the filling. We are supposed, I guess, around 700 liters be needed. 707. Then they have to wait for the driver to get back. They close the door. Well, he did. And we start up and go. Here, um, it was clear. Seems that they're getting tired, but well, plenty of time. Uh, the delivery is all the way to Saragossa, but that's from the end of this new section, it's on the back on the old road, so I have stopped the recording when we reach the highway at the end here. Another small village, size of Soria, it's no name. Stay right. Then continue straight. Nice village. Go straight. So here we are in the winery areas.
was a road to nowhere. Oh, it ended up. So side road. End up here. So, let's see. We are now close to the end of this end. N234 road. Later I want to try to other new roads that have been implemented in 1.43. But that's not for today. So what do we have here? Is it a small village no again? Thing. Yeah. See, I put a marker, marker number three. Then we are off this secondary road and then to the highway, and then we stop the recording. So, hopefully, you have enjoyed the ride on the new secondary road here in Spain. And I also hope that you will get back to my channel for some more views in the future. So then, I want to thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.